In this video, we apply the relationships you learned in the previous video to problems where there are multiple intersecting lines and multiple missing angles. As in the last video, please pause now and open your copy of the capture sheet linked above if you've not already done so. You'll be asked to take notes and answer questions on the capture sheet during this video. Let's remind ourselves of the three relationships we have studied so far. We learned in our last video that when secant lines intersect inside the circle, twice the measure of the vertical angles equals the sum of the measures of the intercepted arcs. Or the measure of each vertical angle is half the sum of the measures of the intercepted arcs. When they intersect outside the circle, Twice the measures of the vertical angles equals the difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs, or the measure of each vertical angle is half the difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. And we also remember from last week that an angle on the circle is called an inscribed angle, and its measure is half the measure of the intercepted arc. Before we move to problems with multiple angles, let's discuss how these relationships present themselves in slightly different circumstances. Here we see the intersection of a secant line and a tangent line, two tangent lines, and a diameter and a tangent line. Which formulas do you think will be applicable here? Notice that in two of the situations, only one arc measure is provided. How do you think you could use the formulas we have discussed in these situations? Pause here and record your thoughts on your capture sheet. In the first case, the two lines are still intersecting outside the circle, and the tangent line, although not passing into the interior of the circle, still divides the circle into arcs. So, as before, n equals half the difference of the two arc measures. Let's take a look at the case of two tangents. Notice that the angle formed by the two tangents still intercept two arcs. But the two arcs completely fill the circle. Since the measure of one arc is x degrees, the measure of the other arc must be 360 minus x. So n is equal to half the difference between x and 360 minus x. This simplifies to x minus 180. Lastly, in the case of a diameter and a tangent line, the angle formed by the line still intercepts two arcs. Only in this case, because the intercepted arcs lie on a semicircle, the smaller arc will be 180 minus x. So again, n is equal to half the difference between x and 180 minus x, which simplifies to x minus 90. Now let's take a look at a complex problem involving two chords and two secant lines where only two angle measures are given and we are asked to find two other angles. What do you notice about this diagram which might be helpful? Pause the video here and record your thoughts on the capture sheet. What relationships did you see? Did you notice that two chords intersect inside the circle? and two secant lines intersect outside the circle? We're going to walk through one way to solve the miss for, miss for the missing angles, but it's important to know that that isn't the only way to solve this problem. The secret is to look at the diagram and notice everything about it. The angles, triangles, diameters, arcs, and look for relationships that help you find the measures of missing arcs and angles. As you solve for more and more arcs and more and more angles, you will, piece by piece, get closer to solving for the unknowns you are seeking. For example, if we focus on chords DE and FG, we see that they intersect in a 94 degree angle, and that the vertical angles intercept arcs DG and EF. Let's label their arc measures A and B. That means that the sum of A and B equals twice 94, or 188. The same arcs are intercepted by secant lines DC and GC. 
which form the 34 degree angle. That means the difference of A and B equals twice 34, or 68. Adding those two equations together gives us the equation 2A equals 256. So A equals 128. Since A plus B equals 188, and A is 128, B must be 60. We still need to find X and Y. If you weren't able to find X and Y earlier, but think knowing A and B will help you now, pause the video here and try to solve for X and Y. Angle DFG is an inscribed angle that intercepts arc DG. So X is half of 128, or 64. Likewise, angle FDE is an inscribed angle that intercepts arc FE. So Y is half of 60, or 30 degrees. Did you get them right? For more practice, see if you can find the measures of the other missing angles and arcs in this picture. And now you've seen some ways to apply the relationships. You have learned to solve circle problems and with many different missing angles or arcs.